Hey there, welcome. Thanks for joining me. If this is your first time to my channel, my name is Violet and today I'm super excited to be able to share with you how I made these fun McKinsey Child inspired home decor using all Dollar Tree items. So what we're going to do first is we're going to make a picture with like those long stem pictures that you see everywhere right now. And what I'm going to use in order to make this is one of these long stem neck vases that I already had in my stockpile spray painted white. So go ahead and grab yours and paint or spray paint yours white. Also, you're going to need one of these shower curtain rings and just go ahead and cut one in half and just use some sharp scissors or a box cutter in order for you to do that. Once you have cut your shower curtain ring in half, go ahead and grab some E6000 and a little bit of hot glue in order to attach your handle to your vase. Now, all I did again was use some E6000 and hot glue and just set it aside and allowed it to dry. Now, this vase right here that I'm making, I'm actually wanting to make a different one with a different style, so stay tuned for that one as well. I want to make it more of a boho style, so um, again, just stay tuned for that tutorial. Hopefully, sometime very, very soon, you'll see how to make the same style vase but in a different um, style. So just go ahead and allow that handle to dry. Once it's completely dry, go ahead and grab your white paint and paint it white. And as you can see, I'm just kind of touching up my entire vase and then set that aside to dry. Now for our next project, what we're going to do is grab some of this tape that is also from Dollar Tree and one of these glasses that are from Dollar Tree that I already had in my stash pile that was spray painted white. And this is a martini, or I'm sorry, a margarita glass. So just go ahead and grab one and paint it white or spray paint like I did. Now what we're going to do is grab our tape and we're going to start with three stri stripes of tape. And once you have your three uh, rows of tape, go ahead and remove the center row and continue this process until you go all the way around your rim of your glass, which is going to be a vase. Once you're done with that part, go ahead and grab a thinner type of tape. And this again is from Dollar Tree. And all I'm doing is going to add the tape the same way I did to the rim of my glass. And I'm going to do it to the handle part. Now just go ahead and grab three stripes or three rows of your tape. Once you have your three rows, remove the center row of tape and continue that process all the way down the handle part. Now you can do this all different kinds of ways, um, all different kinds of designs, just by adding your tape different ways. Basically, it's up to you how you want to make this. If you want to make it exactly like McKinsey Child, I would uh, do the same type, but then do it vertical and horizontal in order for you to get that checkered look that she is so unknown uh, for. But I just wanted to be inspired by that. I really didn't want it to be exactly like their um like her items or her home decor i just wanted to be it to be inspired by it so here i am again just removing that middle strip uh piece of tape and then just continuing the same process all the way down my handle of my what's going to be my vase there was an also a youtuber that has just recently made some home decor or a reef that i saw um, with the same style of McKinsey Child and I'll go ahead and make sure I link her channel down below and it's Olivia's Romantic Home and um, like I said I'll go ahead and leave a link to that tutorial down below so you can watch her channel after you've watched this tutorial but she has some gorgeous home decor and some beautiful inspiration of different ways you can use Dollar Tree items as well. So what I'm going to do is once I was happy with where I placed my tape, I just went ahead and grabbed some black paint and started painting all that open space in between my tape. Now, one thing I can tell you is make sure you rub on that tape really good in order for you to get those crisp straight lines. Now, McKinsey Child's home uh, decor 
it's hand painted so they're not really exactly perfect lines on all the pieces or anything like that so just have fun with this type of home decor i've never really been the one to paint um freehand but i was super excited to give it a try and see how good i ended up doing it the very first time which i'm very happy how it all turned out once i was completely done with everything so once I was done painting the handle part of my vase, I went ahead and started painting the rim. And again, I just painted in between each one of my pieces of tape. And I did give it two coats of black paint. Now, just depending on how dark of the paint you want or how much of a good coat you want um, is how many times you're going to paint over your um, area. So like I said, I did paint mine twice but I would have been happy with just the one time as well because I did leave some pieces with just one um, one coat of black paint as well and it came out really pretty the same way. So it's basically your choice of how you wanna do that. Now, while that paint was drying, I went ahead and got my handle part of a paintbrush and just started making dots all in between my stripes um, in this little area right here. Now, like I said, this is a martini glass. So depending on what kind of glass or vase you want to use is the style that you can make. So it's all up to you and your imagination of how you want yours to look. So what I decided to do was there was a gap between um, my handle part and where I made my little polka dots. So I decided just to go ahead and give it a stripe of gold right there. Now, McKinsey Child, usually they have a stripe of gold somewhere in each one of their um, home decors. Either it's in the center or on the top or on the bottom rim of whatever home decor piece that they make. So I did want to make sure and added a stripe of gold somewhere along my home decor. So that's why I decided to go ahead and put mine in the center. Now, not to say that I didn't make more than one stripe, but I didn't want to make sure that I did add at least one stripe of gold. So for the bottom uh, piece of my vase, I decided to go ahead and use that same thin tape and just kind of make triangles. I didn't even measure it out, just kind of freehanded and added some tape around there and also painted in between that tape black and set that aside and allowed it to dry. Now I had these candle holders that are glass from Dollar Tree that I had already used for a previous project and they were already painted black i'm sorry gold so what i did was just use the same lines that um this already has these candle holders already have and just decided to paint one black one white and um continue that pattern all throughout both of my candle holders or my candlesticks and for these two pieces my candlesticks i did just give it one good coat of black paint and one good coat of white because it didn't bother me to see that gold seep through because if you do see some of that McKinsey child inspired um home decor you will see that it does have like a touch of gold or yellow throughout the black paint so again just depending on how you want to do it um but this is the way i did it i just added one good coat of black paint and just went ahead and it didn't bother me for that gold paint um, to kind of come through on my candlesticks. And if you wanted to be exact measurements on the stripes, um, just go ahead and do that using a ruler and then adding some tape. But for these candle holders or candlesticks, I just went ahead and went with the pattern that was on the candle um, stick itself. So it really didn't bother me how exact they were. Now this DIY does take time because you do have to make sure you try your best to paint um, as even as possible and also um, in order for everything to dry while you're painting it to go to the next step. So it does take a little bit of time. Um, if you want something to be in a hurry, just make sure and have your blow dryer uh, next to you. So every time you do paint something, just go ahead and use a blow dryer to dry it up quicker if you want it that way. Once I allowed my black paint to dry a little bit, I went ahead and went in between my black stripes and painted it white. Now, as you can see for my um, candlesticks, all I did was paint the bottom part white. 
and again I just gave it one coat of my paint and because it didn't bother me for that gold to seep through so if you want the same kind of design that I did just go ahead and grab these candlesticks and spray paint them white allow it to dry and then do this process in order for that gold to come through So once those were done painted, I went ahead and set those aside and allowed them to dry. So while those were drying, I went ahead and grabbed my um, margarita glass, which is going to be my vase. And I just went ahead and removed all the tape from um, the rim and also from um, the handle part of my vase. Now this wasn't completely dry, but it was to me dry enough. Like I said, I don't have a lot of patience in order for it to dry completely, but I was just happy with it being um, semi dry in order for me to go to the next process and the next step. So just go ahead and have that dryer next to her, that hair dryer next to you or some something to um, heat up your paint in order for it to dry faster if you are impatient like I am and don't wanna wait. But again, just go ahead and remove all the tape and then you'll have your lines. Now, if you're not happy with the way your lines look and you want them to be a little bit sharper, a little bit crisper, go ahead and um, make sure you measure everything out. And one thing I can tell you, like I told you before, is make sure you rub on all that tape that you do add on to any piece of your home decor in order for your lines to be a little bit sharper. I didn't do that. Um, so some of it did kind of run through, but it didn't bother me again. But if it is something that you don't want that look, go ahead and make sure you rub on that tape in between everything first. So here I am. I'm just going to go ahead and continue my stripes all the way down to where my polka dots are on my vase. Now, again, you don't have to do this part, but this is the way I wanted mine to look. So I just kind of eyeballed it and painted that bottom part to connect to the top of my rim stripe. So once I was done with all my stripes, I went ahead and decided to just paint um, a stripe going horizontal or vertical. I'm sorry. Would it be horizontal? I'm sorry, horizontal <laughs> around the rim of my vase from the bottom part, right where my polka dots are at. So this is all just basically me freehanding, painting it, kind of just doing it as I go. I really didn't have a pattern or a design of per se of what I wanted. I just kind of had a look and inspiration of a style that I wanted. So here I am just painting in between my black and white stripes um, on the bottom rim part of my uh, vase and just adding a stripe of gold. I was really nervous with this home decor. I didn't know if I was gonna like the way it looked, if it was something that I would really um, use in my home but it is something i absolutely love and i am thinking of making some more um, inspired you know home decor of this style uh, just to kind of make it look like a set and put in my kitchen just for that fun inspiration spring look so if you are interested to see what else I'm making, go ahead and follow me on my Instagram because once I am completely done with all the pieces that I want to make for of this kind of inspiration home decor, um, I'm going to go ahead and post a picture over there for it with it. So just go ahead and follow me on Instagram and I'll leave that link down below if you want to see how and what else I make of this style of home decor. And here I am, I just grabbed my Q-tip and kind of wiped off a little bit of the gold just so I can make sure that some of that white uh, came through as well. Now, what I decided to do was make a gold rim at the top of my vase. Again, because um, Mackenzie Child's uh, home decor also has some kind of stripe of gold, in the, like I said, in the middle, on the back, on the bottom, or even in the center, but they always 
that's one of her signature looks with that uh, stripe of gold now once my vase is completely dry with that handle i did the same thing but on this one i did try to do that checkered look um, just using tape i kind of did the same by adding three stripes of tape removing the center and continuing that process around the entire vase once i was done with that i went ahead and did it the opposite way the same process three stripes and then removing the center and allowing it to look like a checker and here i am just rubbing on that tape because after i did the first one i realized that i had to do that in order for me to get more of those sharper stripes and um, lines so just go ahead and rub on that tape and then paint in between your black color And on this vase, once I was completely done with it, one thing I wish I would have done was I wish I would have painted the handle part gold. So that might be an option you would want to do instead of having it black. But once you're done with that and painting it all black, set it aside again and allow it to dry. So by now, your uh, candlesticks will be dry. So what I did was grab one of these Dollar Tree gold pins and I just went ahead and drew on my gold uh, stripes wherever I saw fit wherever I thought um, it would look nice on my candlestick so I just did it in between the black and white to give it one of those stripe uh, line looks so you don't have to paint on your gold you can also use these markers from Dollar Tree and just paint on the gold as well or draw on with this marker one thing I did do once I was completely done with all my pieces is I did spray on some matte uh, clear coat over each one of these uh, home decors in order for me to be able to wipe them down and clean them um, as I needed to. So I went ahead and just kind of figured out where I wanted that gold stripe and just used this marker and uh, drew on that gold stripe line. And that's the way it looks with just the stripes. So I decided to go ahead and add some gold in between my black and white on that rim. And then at the bottom, there's another like rim. So I decided to go ahead and color that in with my gold marker as well. There's two of them there. And you'll see that I did both lines with the, the gold. Let me know in the comments below, is this something that you've um, wanted to use or wanted to make for your home? Is this something, a style that you would make and use in your home? Or is it something like what I am was kind of scared and thought I would never use this kind of style in my home. But once I did finish it, I absolutely love it. And I think it's so fun and so pretty. But let me know in the comments below if you're going to try it. And is it something that you would naturally gravitate to and make for your home decor.
So I just played with my gold marker and just drew um, different lines everywhere and just decided as I went where I wanted to place that gold. And all I did in the bottom of the rim was just add some dots. So what I did was add four and three on the black and then I added four on the top and three in the bottom on the white. Just to give it some kind of pattern onto these pieces. So once I was done with all the gold and allowed everything to dry, I went ahead and grabbed my red paint and just drew little fake roses onto my pieces um, because I did see some on the website with red roses. So, or if not, they had a red uh, kind of ornament for a handle on the McKinsey Child uh, home decor pieces. So I decided to add some red onto mine by making these rose like fake roses and as you can tell it doesn't look like a rose it just kind of looks like a splattered piece of paint <laughs> but you'll see how I ended up fixing them and how I ended up making them look like roses once it was all completely done. So what I did was just kind of drew on a flower just you know kind of just half circles type of flower something that you learned how to do you know in elementary school really then I allow that to dry, then added a little dot in the center of yellow paint. So you can see it starts looking like a flower, at least it did to me. So once I was done with that, I went ahead and grabbed some gold paint, or I'm sorry, my green paint. And all of these uh, are from Apple Barrel. And I'll go ahead and make sure to leave the colors that I use down below as well. So I just made some leaves by making kind of like a half triangle circle style leaf. And I just drew them everywhere I thought I needed a little piece of greenery. I think this is such a pretty style. I can see myself giving these with fresh flowers, um, even making maybe like a candy bouquet and using them as gifts instead of just giving that natural clear glass vase style. You know, why not making it personal and adding the color of flower that that person likes or adding a, not just the black and white stripes, but using whatever colors that uh, that person that you wanna give this to likes. Um, if it's your mother or a daughter or just a friend or a coworker, um, just kind of making it more personal and adding any kind of flower or using the colors that they like. So once I was done with all my leaves and I was happy with the amount that I placed on there, I went ahead and just added green dots everywhere. just to give it more of that fun, whimsical look. So once I was done with that, I went ahead and grabbed my gold marker again and then drew around to give it more of an outline look of my flowers with that gold. And this is how I think um, those roses came to 
be more noticeable and you could actually see what they were just by tracing out that flower's shape onto um, the glass with that gold. And in order for me to make all of these pieces look like a set, I did the same pattern with the roses and the green leaves onto each one of my pieces. And here I am just using my gold marker again to add polka dots of gold everywhere throughout the uh, top part of my vase. So what I did here was again, just use my red paint and add flowers onto my candle holders as well. Then I added my yellow dot in the center of each one of my flowers. Then I grabbed my green again and made those leaves. And I did that to both of them and allowed it to dry. Next, I grabbed my pitcher and did the same thing after I removed the tape. I added my red flowers and I really didn't count how many I added on. I just painted the red flowers wherever I thought, you know, there was one that needed to be done. So just went ahead and kind of moved it around and just saw, okay, maybe I should add a flower here. And that's what I did. Just added the flower there. So this is very freehand, very a personal kind of taste of how much or how little you want to add of flowers or any kind of stripes onto these vases. And then I just added my white dot in the center and added some green leaves again. Now what I decorated these with as of now are some greenery, but I'm actually thinking of adding red roses to these part, these, um, decors. So let me know in the comments below. Are you going to use it the way I did and displayed it with just greenery or maybe leave it as is or add roses like I'm planning on to add to these pieces. So I hope you like this fun, whimsical home decor. If you did, make sure to give me a big thumbs up and share with friends and family. Until next time, you guys stay busy and stay blessed. Bye.